Hello, Monster Banter, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, Eight Princes, and Part Six of my Sima UA campaign. Last time we got rid of my son and heir, and um, because. Well, because he wasn't very good, but I think more importantly, it was time for him to spread his rings. He, he, he was obviously feeling constrained. This place? Well, that's the question. He did, certainly. Um, so we've replaced him with He Lun, who is, let's face it, a better factionaire because he has more better bonuses. So he's going to give us all 20% more campaign, campaign movement range and charge speed. It's going to cost us a little bit more upkeep for our um, armies, but I'm kind of okay with that. So... Helun has joined us as our heir. Uh, he's actually not that much younger than Simu Yue, so uh, when, when, when he dies, we could be could be in a bit of trouble, but uh, that's fine. And uh, Sim RP is currently working for... Who's he working for? Sim R. Liang, there we are. He's, so he's found someone else to work for. That's nice. He's going to be fine. He, you know, some people may say that was a bit harsh. Um... I mean, the fact that I banished him and stole eight hundred pounds off him before before kicking him out is is probably the, the worst, the worst bit. But um, you know, it costs a lot of money raising a boy. Um, I I tell my son. Obviously, we spent quite a lot of an IVF. I make him. I keep telling him. I make make him fully aware all the way through that I'm fully expecting to invoice him when he's older. He's going to be paying back a lot of money. The interest rates are are crushing. I'm going to put on him. Absolutely crushing. He's going to be paying back uh, literally for the rest of his life. And uh, Sim RP is doing very much similar. He's now working for someone else and he's out of my hair and uh, he won't be coming back. So we need to finish off this, this person down here. It's got salt mines. Everyone loves salt mines. I know I do. And then we're going to go and deal with Ruin Shen down here, who I don't think has much territory. It's got the copper mine. We want the copper mine. Copper mine, obviously, reduces corruption. And then we also want to grab the... Now, the, the problem is the Jin Empire has quite a lot of territory now. They're quite strong. They've got a lot of territory. I'm just kind of prepping. Prepping for the point where we can potentially attack them. We, we you know, we, we're doing quite well. They have... I've, I've heard they've nerfed trebuchets. Not sure how that's going. Not sure the tre are trebuchets worth it anymore. Maybe we just get one. I think maybe we'll just stick with one for the moment. Let's get all the crossbows. I'll get some more horsey boys. I want to get some cataphracts. I want some cataphracts. We will we will be getting some cataphracts. Um, I also want to get more cav for Heelun. He, I mean, to be honest, we don't need cav. We could maybe go for more raiders. Get like a really strong front line of raiders. It's an option. I want to replace his axe band with more raiders. Maybe we, we get more of the uh, sword guard cavalry. And then maybe... I mean... The Sawcraft Gallery are pretty good. They're not bad. They're certainly not bad. Um, yeah, okay, so let's let's end the turn because we can't move anyone at the moment. But Simo UA is going to go down and destroy the last little holdout to get that salt mine. You want a herdsman? Um... I mean, for the amount of money you're offering, sure, have it. Wisdom met by wisdom. Exactly. I don't, you know, I, I'm, most most of my armies are going to have. Oh, hello. Most of my armies are going to have a strategist in them, if I have anything to say about it. Sima Yong requests Sima Yong join their war against that. He really wants to declare war on um, that person, doesn't he? Sima Ru invited Sima Yao to their coalition. Fair enough. Uh, Bai Rao invited Bian Bing to their coalition. Bing! And Song Wei requested Bian Bing join their war. Okay, sure. Why not? And uh, we've got government annals. Good stuff. Lovely. So let's check our research. So... We've got more assignments, more administrative positions, less corruption, all good stuff. Fine with that. What do I want now? I mean, more money from commerce would be good, wouldn't it? The other option is we go for the Lance Cavalry. The Shock Cav could be good. Could be a good option. Uh, so what's this? Sabre Infantry is there. We can get... Is that Repeater Crossbowman? Yeah. I, I, I don't know if... Have they buffed the Repeater Crossbows? Not sure. I would like... I don't know. Is there better 
Is there better yellow horses, or is that literally the best? We've got better red horses, the heavy cataphracts, which I would like. We've got the azure dragons there. Um, is that azure dragons? Oh, protectors of heaven, sorry. Protectors of heaven there. Defenders of earth there. That's the azure dragons there. What's this? Pearl dragons. Medium glaive infantry. Okay, heavy G infantry. I mean... I guess that's just cheaper versions. I feel like these guys are just better. Oh, they have missile defense. Okay, so the heavy G infantry got slightly more armor piercing. Okay. But absolutely no missile defense. Fine. Um, I mean, the replenishment would be nice, wouldn't it? Do we want to go replenishment? I do like my spies. The food would be useful. Income from looting settlements would be... Ah, there we go. Saber cavalry. Medium sword cavalry. I'm feeling like the replenishment could be, could be the way forward. Because more replenishment, more good. I think... Can we reach... No, we can't reach them quite precise. yet. Now, they, are, they have come out... There's not much... Oh, they have actually... Oh, shit, I didn't actually want to... Ah, oh, that's fine. I think we, we, we can take that salt mine. Pretty much no problem. They do have two armies. Uh, I'm not sure how much the garrison they've got. What, what rank is... What's, what level salt mine is this? Can we actually see... Uh, salt? I don't think... I think it might be level one. You know what? It might be level three. Because I think this outline looks more like a level 3. Because it's got this little blob back here. So it could be level 3 or above. Which means they would have a lot of archers. I might need to back away. Might need to back away. I mean, I could potentially... You're a warrior. Yep, that, that is true. Okay, you're spiteful. You're unobservant. And relentless. You're 37. You're level 3. Chow. Do I want Chow? I feel like I'm going to be getting Chow. Let's, let's get... Right. We're going to get Chow. Let's get Chow on. Let's get our Chow on. And let's see if... Oh, come on. Have a better... Have better skills, you bastard. Okay. I don't. Th this this army is no threat. Basically, I think our garrison. Well, the farm garrison is not great, so they might be able to take the farm. Not possible. Do what must be done. Maybe we move you down. Be ready to move. It's gonna take three turns. Ready Let's do that. We can always move you back if need be. I'm not super worried about the north at the moment. I think we're fairly secure. I think we're generally okay. So we've got some building going on. We could maybe upgrade this. If we upgrade to the tea house, that's going to give us more income, which is good. And assignment-wise, we could get uh, noble support, tax income from peasantry. How much are we making? Not a lot, lot from peasantry there. What about from here? 45 from peasants. Nope, that is complete garbage. And here, peasants is... Okay, that's not the worst. So let's send some peasants in. Well, actually, how, how's our public order? Oh, public order's not great. You know what? We should maybe send in... Let's get the exercise government authority. Yes. Let's send you in to do that. That's good. That'll work. Happy with that. Our spy has found the small city again. Yes, thank you very much. Fully aware of that that is... If you come back, I'm just going to banish you. I've banished one of my officers. I'll do it. I'll do it again. Don't make. Don't think that I won't. You would not need fear us. Uh, Songwei. Where are you? Song Songwei. I have no idea where you are. So you know what? Sure, I'll have an aggression picked with you because I don't know where you are. He's probably like down here somewhere, isn't he? He's like probably right next to me. 
Not sure. Uh, Mao Ren requested Bian Bing. Don't know who Bian Bing is. He just pops up, and now I'm hearing about him all over the place. And that thing happened. Spy returned. Okay, our spy was completely useless. All she managed to do was find some cows. Fucking rubbish. So, question of character. You wander across two courtiers, locked in heated discussion. Compassion, one argues, is the most meteorious. Meteorio it's a good virtue. Whilst another insists that righteousness should drive all action, you ponder their reasoning as they look to you for your opinion. Who is it? It's Sao Su and Chao Xi. Okay. So we were sort of... I was tempted to go towards Might, wasn't I? I could just go... I want... Mm, mind? Hmm. I could just like, you know, really power, power level the, the wealth, couldn't I? Flip a coin. Plus, I don't know how cranky they are. So I can't actually see what their um, satisfaction is. They're probably fine. I'm tempted to go might. Screw it. Indeed, righteousness is the most important. You agree that righteousness determines worth far more than compassion. Your courtier is pleased. So Sue's happy. Uh, how is how's Shao Shi? You are fine. You desire a higher court position. I could give you one, <laughs> and a court position. <laughs> no, but seriously, I could. I could actually do that. I feel like so we got a copper mine and salt mine here. So this is really all about the industry, isn't it? Plus five food production isn't the worst. There's no one here that's really going to give us industry. So I kind of need a sentinel. I don't really have a sentinel. Xiao Chartain is probably the best option. He's not a great option, though. Basically, we don't really have a good option. I could... You're only level one. Level four, Ludang. Ambitious, perceptive, tough. Don't like ambitious. Ambitious seems bad. Zhang Lin, you are trusting. Okay, graceful and fulfilled. Uh, you are not the worst person to have. You are level four. You've got good expertise. Do we... Let's get you in. Let's get you in and let's see if you are a good person to get... Uh, a minute. So you are no, you are you're pretty much pretty much bog standard to be honest. But maybe we, maybe we get you in anyway. Because what I'm thinking, oh, we got skill points, industrial exploitation. So, uh, in cover, so really the wrong side to, to do that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, it's not... It's not the best shout. I think Jiao Shoutain is probably going to be the best option. So, let's get you in there. Let's get you in there. And our spy has returned. Bloody useless. Who was our spy? Ah, G. That's right. We, she hasn't actually returned yet. Who are you? Impeccable, understanding, elusive. You know what? That's not bad, that, is it? Do you want to get you as well? I just... I, um, hmm, should we? I feel like we're kind of filling up on characters and we don't we don't have a have a place for them yet uh let's get you back to farmland let's get you back over there we'll set up a little encampment for you because why not you're going to replenish which is good okay we've got the water clock so you are getting a little bit more replenishment basic replenishment basic oh. stand as tall as a tree united as a forest I don't know whether to just go for the attack. At ease. Do I just go for the attack? I 
Because the problem is, that garrison could be pretty tanky. Uh, so, salt. So, they could have five axi people and four, uh, no, six archers. I cannot. On top of the three generals. Now. Thrust with conviction and strike true. Yeah, we're quite, we're quite wounded. I think we're going to have to pull back. Marching. Exhaustion I just don't think. Mind. Maybe we get this army down here as well. Then we can probably... I, I think then we can probably take them. I think that's probably fine. Appointments. Yes, that's okay. We also have the Provincial Advisor, which... What does this post do? 30% corruption, local commandery. Fine. So that's only if you're actually in the commandery. So I guess I want South Sioux there. It's a bit of an odd sort of, bit of an odd um, position. I don't really want to give it to anyone. I guess it would keep someone quiet, wouldn't it? So like, how grumpy are you? You desire higher court position. So I could actually just pop you in there and it wouldn't really matter. You don't get on with Heelun, but it would just kind of... Yeah, you're happy. Look at your smiley face. Good. Happy, happy, happy. That's what we want. Happy peeps. Come join us in our war on chaos. Against the Jin Empire. Um, at this very moment in time, I'm going to say no. So be it. Not because I don't want to. Actually, it's mostly because I don't want to. Come on. Shania Twain, get in there. You can look. Got one piddly army. You can do this. I believe in you. I think I think you can do it. Uh, war declared. Okay. Let's pop Come you in there. Attend. Let's bring this army down here. Now we just need to basically replenish. So there we go. Right, we're getting more replenishment thanks to population. That's only going to get better as time goes on. That's all fine. Can upgrade to the tea house here. I think we... Is it the assignment? Uh, where have we got the assignment going on? Location. Gua uh, here. Um, okay, good. Yeah, because we've got the... In right. I might actually save the money so I can in upgrade my farm. Maybe get some more money. We've got the tea parlor... Bonus income from commerce is quite good. I might get another school. Because getting that... Getting that experience... Is pretty key. Tolerance is the best we can offer. You want a peace treaty... And you're going to give us a shit ton of money. I'm kind of tempted to take that. Because like... 5k and then in 10 turns I could just go and crush them anyway. All right. We are finished here. Yes, we are. Just going to go and stand outside the walls, are you? I'll take your money and I'll spend it. Uh so that 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 okay, good. You signed a peace treaty. Yes, we did. Cuz then we're going to get big monies. Huge, massive monies, which is what we wanted. So, I could get a marketplace. Would increase income from commerce, which is pretty good. So let's do that. It's only going to take one turn. You are finished in three turns. We can upgrade the tea house here. And also here, we're getting a lot of tea houses. Um, we are super duper Attention. stocked up with tea. What? And that's Victory. no bad thing. So let's switch out some of you. I think we can only do this a couple of times. But basically, we're just going to upgrade, upgrade our lads. 
which is pretty good. And then we're just going to get our infrastructure going. That that 5k is really going to help us. Would you want to meet you to Sima Ryu, Ruai, who is Sima Yu. Who? Who the fuck? Where are they? No, seriously, where are they? Oh, that one. Right, yeah, no, I can see, I can see. No, um, mm, as tempting as it is, no. Another time, then. Finish your own wars, mates. I'll help you when we have common enemies. So, we can grab that salt mine in a few turns. That's no biggie. We've got quite a lot of money. We can put some more effort into infrastructure as well. We've got a... Uh, a legalist fanatic. Oh, that's nice. Maybe. Not sure. Princess Pei, who do you have? Oh, you don't have anyone. Okay, if we give you the fanatic, if we do that, and then Jiao Shaotain is... Ah, you're doing this one, aren't you? So actually, what we can do is we can give you the Artesian, because that will give the artisan even um that'll give you 10 percent increase income from industry which is fine because we're going to get these in fact well, we, could, we could declare war on this guy can't we that could be an option okay we're, we're in the port so let's come out of the port let's come over here now uh i should let myself muster shouldn't i that's fine it's fine. I'm not. I'm not bothered. Channel, passion. Let's get you lads back up here. Right. So we've got the shopkeep. Get more income from commerce. We're making big money here. 1.6k. 1.4 from commerce. Holy shit. Um. Yeah. Public order here is going to be a bit of an issue. So we probably need to think about some way to help with that. But. Let's just keep getting money for the moment because that's mostly what I'm interested in. Getting that big, getting the big bucks flowing in. Ah, Princess Pei, you finished your your thing. So our influence is almost at authoritative when we get bigger bonuses. So currently we get minus, uh, sorry, minus ten percent construction cost, minus ten percent, plus ten percent research, minus ten percent building upkeep, and five percent corruption. If we upgrade that, uh, that's going to yeah, quite, quite, pretty much double our bonuses. So we definitely want to get as much. Oh gee, you're not happy. Oh well, uh, we want to get as much influence as possible. So that, in fact, what we could do. I mean, we're getting big, we're getting big money here, aren't we? So what we could do is actually do it here. So that's 20% income from all sources. So actually that is going to increase how much we're making quite considerably. Now, G, can I send you out to do more spying or... I can. Go go to the Jin Empire, knock yourself out. See, see what happens. See if you can find any more cows. And if you can't, then that's fine. Uh, Against Sima Yu, who? Sima Yu. Sima, no, wrong with you. You. You are over. Ah, over there. Um. Do I have any deals with them? I can't tell. Juro. Who is Juro? Um. I mean, all right. I am pleased you see the benefits. I mean, the benefits are the money you're giving me. That's that's really mostly all I'm interested in. Does this seem fair? Uh, n no. I just declared war on you, and everyone doesn't like you, so I'm going to say no. Like not to be forgotten. Well, that that you know that's fine. Write it down in a book. Grow a beard. Chop off everything below the kneecap, and oh. Oh, ciao. Ciao. No, ciao. Found a spy. He's not a very good spy. 
Jesus, he did not do very well, did he? Um, I could execute him. I could employ him. Okay, let, let's give Chow a second chance. Empower trade. Enemy spies were captured with documents pertaining to our trade, crop yields, and economy. What they were doing with these is unknown, but we suspect foul play. Oh, that's you know that's the first time I've seen the AI actually use spies against me, so that is pretty nice. Uh, chance to spar with a good friend of Rice is a rare opportunity in these frantic times. You confess to being a little out of practice as you begin, and soon find yourself at the end of a flurry of blows that you simply cannot anticipate. After falling to the floor one too many times, you concede, vowing to do better next. Guan, fucking humble, rescues people from, from battle, and also can defeat Sima Yue in combat. It's literally there in black and white. That is pretty impressive. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Guan, truly the MVP of the campaign so far. The path is clear. Right, I'm going to take this copper mine. I'm going to take the copper mine. But, ah, we got the, we got the replenishment, which is really good. Like the replenishment, kind of want to get more spice stuff. How's our food doing? Food's actually pretty good. Food's pretty good. I mean, recruitment costs could be good. Construction time reduction would be nice. Let's, yeah, let's get the, the workforce. Let's get the workforce, because that's just going to give us uh, some good stuff. Nice. Did I pick Stay up fixed. any additional debris? Um... Got silver horse. We don't have any good weapons for you, do we? No. You've got the silver robe. That's all fine. Salsu, what have you got? I quite like. You know what? I have an axe instead. Do you want an eavesdropper? Have an eavesdropper. And I don't think we've got anything. Oh, hello. Minus 5% corruption faction wide. I like the instinct. I like lower corruption better. So let's do that. Healan, you've got the water clock. You've got a fish. You know what? Let's remove that. Let's give you the stone pig, because who doesn't love what a stone you pig? Wish, my lord. You can then have that so that we, we get the replenishment, because that's the entire army, isn't it? 3% replenishment? I think so. Uh, so we'll get the entire army. We're getting sort of better replenishment. There we go. Reforms. Do you... It's funny the water clock doesn't seem to be coming up. Maybe it's part of the basic replenishment? That would seem weird. Okay, a couple of turns will be good to go. And our population is increasing all the time. Is an unquenchable flame. Oh, it really is. Let's get you at... Ha Can we just have the one spy? Just one spy. Once again, I feel the warmth of home. Right. Good to know. Oh, I can get a cat... Even if I only have one cat, I love cataphracts. I bloody love them. I think one of my, one of my favourite campaigns was probably. We offer you peace. Take it or die. Who? Sorry, who are you? Oh, you're that person over there. Um, I will take your peace. We have finished here. Because frankly, I wasn't particularly invested in the war in the first place. I was just doing it because old Leopardprint wanted me to, and. Just seemed like a good idea at the time. I'll take his money and I'll take uh, your money for the peace. Works for me. Uh, Songwei, okay, don't care about you. Fact destroyed, I have no idea who you are. He's on a peace treaty, that's fine. Spy dispatch, let's see if we can find more than moo cows. The Empress demands retribution, uh, retribution. One of your more error prone retainers has unintentionally offended the Empress. Again? I'm fairly sure we've done this more than. Uh, fuck's sake. Okay, um. Go either refuse or compensate. Compensate seems like the easiest one. No one gets upset. We spend some money and we get more wealth. Seems like the seems like the best one, doesn't it? Really. I feel I feel like on the other hand, might would give us more campaign movement. Five turns. Fuck it. Yeah, we're refusing it. The Empress cannot be allowed to extol such a costume you had demand is denied. Ooh, we're out of favour. Oh well. 
Ooh, a Grey Stallion. Nice. You and in one direction. Guan has leveled up. Flaming Shot could be an option. Plus 10%. I mean, 10 extra military supplies in enemy territory is quite useful. More range damage. Ah, now we're talking. Let's get that. Judgment for the extra the extra damage. Ready. We're going to declare war on you. War. And I'm going to Justice take your copper mine. It says low, low losses. I believe it. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Yep, looks okay to me. Our dominion grows. So I'll take that one. He Lun has ranked up what we got here when commanding. Okay, administers. He's not administering a commandery. Ignore forest penalties is pretty nice. Enables fire arrows. He doesn't really have have that. More speed and morale. And ignore forest penalties. So basically everyone around him moves slightly faster, has more morale, and ignores that forest penalty, which is really nice for your cavalry. Which means if your cavalry's in the forest, especially if you can fight enemy cavalry in the forest, you're going to win that engagement, because they'll get debuffed for being in the forest, and you won't. Avoiding ambush, not too bothered. Not too bothered about that. Um, what would it lead on to? So plus five faction support is quite nice. Nobility, plus one available assignments would be quite nice. Plus one starting rank for so all the sort of like so we've got three three abilities down here which are basically the the faction air bonuses. But there's no particular reason Simayu is the commander of the army because he doesn't have any bonuses for leading the army I know I'm wrong plus 10 ranged fire rates when commanding okay I mean I don't think there's any penalty for switching Okay, let's let's get nature's ally. Because I think that's probably the best option at the current time. So we've got the copper mines. That's more more income from industry. So we're making lots more money, which is very, very nice. No problem with that. Um, having the extra influence is quite good. So we're currently making six influence a turn. And we can boost that up. So let's let's get some more influence because the sooner I mean at max rank we get minus 30% construction cost plus 50% research rate minus 50% building up keep and minus 30% corruption that's massive that's huge that that's madness and it's literally just it takes time to get there we'll get there eventually craftsman i that this is going to upset Upset the nobles. Am I too bothered about that? If I wait a bit, I could upgrade the city. And that would give me another building slot. Then I could build something to keep the nobles happy. Like a school or something. Apparently the nobles are all for education. And who can blame them? Education, education, education. Build a school, cheers them up. And also gives everyone more experience. You can't go wrong. Okay. So, similar young request is similar. Okay, sure. Don't care about that. That's a thing happening. Fine. Now, we're at war with you. Shut up. So, I wonder if I could, like, bully you into a peace deal if I, like, sack your town. Because, to be honest, like, I don't really want the fishing ports. I, I could live without it. If I sack it, maybe you'll give me lots of money just to leave you alone. And then I... What, what have you found now? You found some wood. G good. L well... J okay, okay, good. D j just... Okay, you found wood. Like, pass on the back there. Good job. Right. Don't... Don't... I just... Oh, fuck's sake. 
Okay, let's... Do you want to upgrade this town? Do I want to... Yes, yes, let's upgrade the town. Let's do that. Five turns of upgrading. And then we'll have an extra building slot, which is good. We'll have two turns there. We've got the... I mean, th this is kind of a weird town, but to be honest, we've got the farmland. We've got the temple. It's not really sort of bringing in much money, and that's fine. That's okay. And we've got the temple. That's going to give us some more research rate. The income from all sources is fine. Um, we've got the tea house there, so that's giving us a little bit of income. And then we've got the school um, for the extra character experience, which I quite like, because obviously the, the higher ranking characters the better. And we've got some cataphracts, which I'm very excited about. Can't wait to see those on the battlefield. Although currently, we don't really have much in the way of sort of enemies. Now, we are going to finish off G uh, Lu Quin Kin Shin Wan. Shin Wan. We're going to finish off those just as soon as our peace uh, deal finishes. That'll be after 10 turns, so probably about 7 to 6 more turns. And once that's done, we can, we can pretty much mop up, and then I'm thinking maybe get a couple of armies up and go on the offensive against Jin, the Jin Empire, and see if we can capture the capital. Because the Imperial City is over there. And if we can start making inroads against, against Jin, especially if we can get a spy in the Empire, that would be really, really useful. Um, but that is a bit of an if. But if we can, it would be good. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Sima UA campaign.